Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today I will share with you guys the steps on how to obtain a CCW permit. Stay tuned. Now guys, I will be talking about specifically a Nevada CCW permit. It requires you to take an 8-hour class and that includes a multiple choice test about firearm safety and a shooting proficiency test. Every state has its own law, so make sure you check out your state laws to be sure that you have the right requirements. It requires you to take an 8-hour class that includes a shooting proficiency test and in the classroom you will be tested about firearm safety. So first step, you have to find a CCW class in your area. You can bring your own revolver or your favorite striker fired pistol. Now when you get to the class, you will be sitting in the classroom for six hours talking about gun laws and firearm safety. Then the last two hours or the first two hours will be a shooting proficiency test. Now the Nevada CCW requires that you have to uh, be proficient at 3 yards, 5 yards, and 7 yards. Now I will show you guys how to pass the shooting proficiency test. Now first thing you're going to do is fold this paper in half. And after that, then fold it again halfway. And this is going to be your target. If you can land all your shots in this target at 7 yards, then you will surely pass the test. All right, guys, now I am not going to shoot at three or five yards. I am gonna go straight ahead and shoot at the seven yard line. How do you determine how far seven yards is? All you have to do is walk away from the target seven paces away, and you will be approximately seven yards from the target. On this test, I will be using this high point and i just want to show you guys that even the most hated cheapest unreliable pistol in the world can get you through a ccw shooting proficiency test all right we are at seven yards now remember there's no time limit All right, let's check the target. There you go, so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All of it is inside the target. And if I can do it with the high point, you should be able to do it with your Gucci pistols. Some instructors use a four inch target some uses an 8-inch target, and some of them uses a full-size silhouette target. Now, if that's the case, then you are one lucky son of a gun. And if you still suck on a full-size silhouette target, don't worry. The instructors will guide you and teach you how to use your firearm properly. And if you still suck, chances are the instructor will probably just pity you and pass you anyways. So don't worry much about it. Now, moving forward. Now, once you pass the firearm safety test and the uh, shooting proficiency test, they will give a certificate of completion similar to this. Now, next step you do is you go to the sheriff's office and present your certificate of completion, including your driver's license or any form of identification. After your application is approved, they will get back to you shortly and they will schedule you to come in to take a picture for your CCW ID. And then after that, it's just a waiting game. It will take around four months to a year of gruesome sleepless nights because you will be excited and anxious. You will be checking your mail every single day. Just don't worry about it. It will come to you sooner or later. Now, once you get your ID, make sure that you always bring it with you, especially when you're concealing. And some benefits of having a CCW is you don't have to pay for a background check anymore when purchasing a firearm. And you don't have to wait two to three days for you to be able to pick up your firearm. You can take home your gun right on the spot. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys are staying safe out there. Till next time, see you guys in the next video.